What is up Rivalers and welcome to Marvel Rivals Guides. Today's video is going to cover every single character and ability revealed so far and I don't want to waste a single second of your time so let's get right into it. Every character has a primary and secondary basic attack. Every character also has three basic abilities and a big bombastic ultimate. Each character in the game will fall into one of three classes, DPS, tank, and support. DPS deal damage, Tanks like to be on the front line creating space for their teammates, and supports empower their allies through healing and other buffs. So let's get into the character kits. Iron Man is a ranged DPS character that can fly around the map by using his shift ability. His primary attack is he shoots blasts from his hands. His secondary is this long range laser type blast. When he uses his E, he's going to change stances, which empowers his primary and secondary attacks. His F ability is a grenade that deals AoE damage, and his ultimate is this sick big blast ability that can wipe out entire enemy teams. Iron Man also has a specific team up ability where Hulk empowers his laser to do this awesome gamma ray laser. I'm really hoping Iron Man has a team up with Captain America as well, where Iron Man shoots a laser and Cap can reflect it with the shield like in the movies. That has always been one of my favorites. Black Panther is a melee DPS who is very mobile. His shift is a dash attack, his E is a dash kick, and his ultimate turns him into a panther god named Bast, which unleashes an attack so powerful it can break the map. Magic is a melee DPS that looks to have a very high skill ceiling, similar to Riven from League of Legends. Her shift is a portal that lets her reposition, her E is a dash uppercut that knocks enemies upwards, and her ultimate turns her into Dark Child, a demonic form that gives her other attacks a wider AoE range and also makes them hit harder. The more damage magic deals to enemies, the more shield she gets, so you're going to want to constantly stay in combat as this character. Also, I'm just calling it now, magic is probably going to be a little broken. I've played enough Overwatch and League to know a broken champion when I see one. One of the characters I've seen the most excitement for in the comments is Spider-Man, who just so happens to be voiced by Yuri Lowenthal from the very popular PlayStation games. I'm glad they got an experienced voice actor for Spidey, because for a lot of people, Yuri is Spider-Man. That's how he's supposed to sound. Alright, what does he do though? He's a melee DPS that's on the tankier side actually. He's got 300 HP. Shift is his iconic web sling ability, and oh my god, look how fast it goes. He is flying through the air when he uses this. His E is a web blast that stuns enemies, his F ability is an uppercut, and his ultimate is this big AoE ability that ties up the entire enemy team with webs. I personally cannot wait to play Spider-Man. Before we get into our next character, remember to subscribe to the channel. This channel is going to be the high quality Marvel Rivals content that you deserve. And let me know down in the comments who you're most excited to play as in Marvel Rivals. Namor is a ranged DPS that throws his trident for his basic attacks. The only ability we've seen from him is this weird little octopus turret, so I think Namor is going to be more of a defensive oriented character that sets up turrets to control a zone rather than opting to push into enemy territory. He also has a team up ability with Luna Snow where she freezes his spears and makes them deal more damage. Also, can we just appreciate how cool this design for Namor is? I actually think this is the best he's looked ever. Doctor Strange is a tank with 600 HP and his right click gives an 800 HP shield. His E opens up a portal that allows him to teleport his team around the map which just looks awesome. His ultimate ability is the Eye of Agamotto that stuns the entire enemy team. It doesn't look like Doctor Strange can do much while he's casting it though, so it's more of a tool to set up his team to get damage in while the enemies are stunned. Okay, now we've got the Hulk, who is actually a shapeshifter tank with two forms. He starts off as puny Bruce Banner with the rinky dink little gun and a grenade, and then his ultimate turns him into the Hulk, who is a melee tank with 900 HP. That's the biggest health bar in the game. His jump is super powered, he can literally leap across massive parts of the map, his shift is a big shield, and his ult is Hulk grabs an enemy and smashes them into the ground, kind of like he does to Loki in the Avengers movie. Up next is SPDR, also known as Penny Parker. We don't know much about SPDR in the trailer other than it can climb walls as seen here. It has 950 HP and it also looks really cool. As a side note, SPDR was originally created by the lead singer of My Chemical Romance. Let me know in the comments if you didn't know that. I, I think it's neat. All we know about Groot is that he's got a team up ability with Rocket and that his ultimate holds enemy characters in place. I don't really know why Rocket Raccoon is a support, but you know what? I'm okay with it. His primary attack is an assault rifle with 45 ammo, he has a built-in heal, he can climb walls as seen here, and fly with a jetpack as seen here. 
And like I mentioned with Groot, he's got a team up ability where he jumps on his back, just like in the movies. First of all, I want to apologize to the Luna Snow community. In my last video, I said nobody knew who she was and turns out there is a small but dedicated fan base for her, which I think is really cool. She's a support that skates around the map and shoots icicles at people. Her ultimate is a big AOE heal. I think she's going to play something similar to Lucio from Overwatch. Loki has one of the coolest kits in the game so far. He is a support. His E can create fake characters as decoys and place them as turrets. His F swaps place with the decoy, giving him some really cool mobility options. And then his ultimate is he literally turns into another character from the enemy team. So this guy gives me Major Echo from Overwatch or Viego from League of Legends vibes. You're gonna wanna know how to play every character at a baseline level before picking up Loki. So there it is, that is every single detail that we've been able to find in the Marvel Rivals trailer. Now, of course, until we get our hands on the actual game, some of this was speculation and it's all subject to change as well. There's a lot of upcoming characters who we haven't seen in game yet, like Magneto, Scarlet Witch, Mantis, and Punisher, can see here in this promotional artwork manning a skull-shaped turret right out of the 1990s. I love this. So if you are as excited to see more abilities revealed for Marvel Rivals as I am, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. That's it for today, Rivalers, and I'll see you in the next one.